Hey guys and girls, I hope all is well. So here we have a, a package that's arrived, something that I'd ordered. And uh, depending on the thumbnail, it would be quite obvious um, what it what it is, or not obvious if I've decided to be a bit, a bit cynical. But telling you now, because it's not really a spoiler, it's more to see if this thing actually, um, actually works. It is a 14 inch Sony Triniton um, CRT, I think it's early, very early 2000s, might be late 90s. I haven't really looked up the um, the spec. I did save a find and save the PDF um, of the instructions, albeit I doubt I'll be uh, I'll be needing them. Um, yeah, in need of a, a CRT again. I did have one before. It was like a combo. I think it was a Sanyo or an or an Iowa, but it was like a VHS. Um, CRT or TV combo wasn't the best of pictures. It was okay. I had like mainly plugged like the NES um, that I had at the time um, into it. But uh, yeah, it wasn't the wasn't the picture that a, a Sony can uh, can put out. So two or three years on, um, as is the collector's curse. It's like okay, I think I need I need a CRT. And um, I'm blaming it all in a in a nice way because I know I can still put it through. Um, a modern telly, and um, I'm still to um, to, to try that. Um, but the fabulous um, Claire uh, Retro Repair Bear um, has recently kind of serviced my childhood Specky, my Plus Three, um, and it's raring raring to go. And I thought, you know what? How nice would it be to um, put it into a put it into a CRT? Um, yeah, but price wise, I mean these, but this particular model. Um, it really varies quite significantly from between like 70 and 200 quid on, on eBay based on um, sale prices, um, or sorry, sold prices, I should say, as opposed to um, to active listings. And this one I did pay a little bit through the nose. I think it was about 40 quid on um, on Courier. And they did like, I think, UPS, which I, out of all of them, um, is probably the most, in my opinion, you know, reliable. So you kind of are dependent on a few people along the chain, but... We'll see if my uh, if their reputation will be upheld if this thing works or or doesn't work. But I couldn't find one too local to me. Couldn't be asked to get in the car and just wipe out at least a day going there and back. Particularly when the petrol costs probably would have exceeded the um, um, the postage one. This one came up uh, as well as a few others. I added them to my watch list on eBay, and then lo and behold, as happens, you then um, you get offers and then a bit of back and. And back a bit back and forth. So I think with this one, I ended ended up about 119, 120 quid. I don't think it was necessarily around around ten. It might be one one nine uh, or there there or thereabouts. Um, so yeah, I thought you know what, um, let's let's go for it. Where's it going to go? That's a bloody good question. Um, and I've, I've say I've measured it blind. This basically means I haven't fucking measured it. Um, I'm hoping <laughs> it's probably not going to work. It can fit on here. And I literally just squeeze the, <clears throat> excuse me, squeeze the um, modern telly um, a bit to the left. I mean, the stands, as you can see, is in the middle. You probably stretch a little bit over the, um, over the TV, or the unit, I should say, um, to the left, and then hopefully squeeze it on the on the right. The full back, which my wife's going to hate because it's, it's turning into a little South End arcade now in our uh, uh, in our downstairs. Um, and this is just one one part of it. Uh, the other option is to potentially add a little unit there that will just host and obviously shift all this shit and crap along, move that out of the way. Um, but put a unit there, very kind of simple white, maybe just a cube unit um, that that has it on there, um, and and do it that way. But that's um, but let's see. But then before we even get to that, it's a case of right. I need to crack this open. It just looks like the guy or gal. I don't know who. Uh, who the seller was um, has packed it well, so um, yeah, we'll go through, we'll open it up, and then see if the bugger works. Um, and then I think the, the so the part two, whether or not I do this video, will be this whole kind of um, yeah rearrangement to it to get it to get it there because it ain't gonna fit in the little corner room uh, in the box room upstairs. But that's enough waffling. Um, let's get stuck into it. Let's see how we do. This little man, bootleg John. It's going to be useless as shit trying to help me with this, so uh, 
I plonk him on the side. He's never going to stand with his, his ropey plasticky legs. Now let's get stuck in. There we go, all unwrapped. Right, shall we plug it in? Right, there we have it. So that's not in too bad, uh, uh, Nick. It was a good description and loads of photos, so I knew what I was, I was getting into. It was working on the, um, on the eBay picture, so a bit of a Nick there. I might just get some uh, really geeky, but just some like little metallic paint. I reckon just dab that. Um, it's more of a scratch than anything. So uh, yeah, I reckon I can sort that out. The screen looks tidy. Will it work? We'll check that, on. We'll check that in a second. Um, just trying to see what it's got on there. It's like BBC, it's like BBC radio ingrained in the top. Just like it's like almost like Braille. And I bet the company uh, barcode quite often when they do the old pat testing on stuff so maybe this is from the old BBC radio from back in the day who knows let's do a quick of a 360 as we know they are often these CRTs are a bit deeper <laughs> deeper than they are wide there's the model so you can see it 14 inch scarp baby um, albeit it's got the old is it coax the aerial as well but I think I'd mainly be say mainly probably solely be using the scarp for the specky um, I've got a nice um, scart lead that I got, I can't which, which, um, where I got it from, if I remember, I'll put it in the in the description. And over there, um, another vlog from the uh, the almighty uh, Retro Rewind, uh, so Clint. So uh, yes, yeah, so I'm enjoying that on a Saturday morning. So yeah, go and check his channel out, I'll leave it in the, in the description, I'm sure you already sub, but if you don't, then, um, then please do. But yeah, it looks, apart from a bit at the top, where someone weirdly has just taken a marker pen to um, to that BBC sign. I reckon the the sticker I can have a go at getting rid of that. Um, but yeah, but the main thing is, is it working? Is it... So, and then plugged it in. <laughs> I should probably do that before I try it. All right, like that, like that. I did make a bit of a sound. Gonna. Ooh. There's no, uh, should have said before, there's no like remote. But presumably. I need to get a remote for it. That said, I can go. To, I can go through the inputs. Um, yeah, I think the main thing to do is to link something up. At least I'm getting a picture. Slightly flickery. Um, obviously, it would be on the phone, but also in person. But not too bad. Yeah. Okay. I was worried I wasn't going to get a picture at all. Um, I'm going to plug something in. Right, I'm going to do a little jump cut. See you in a sec. Right, moment of truth. Grab my son's PS1. A game. It's linked up by the scar. Uh, I'm not trying to create extra tension, but I am a bit... A bit concerned by it. Oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Put it into SCART, so I might need to... I don't know if that will kick in straight away. Whoa, skis. 
take a step back because it's uh, obviously CRT. It's not going to look too pretty on your eyes through this modern mobile technology. Um, but in the flesh, yes, tiny little bit of flicker. Not much, maybe it's just uh, calibrating itself. But it's pretty, it's a pretty decent picture. The sound is like lovely. Um, I've been away from CRTs for too long, but you forget. I mean the. See, the thinness of these modern bloody monitors doesn't really allow for a good speaker, but this, this thing's pretty leery. You're halfway up as well. Like a Nam Namco classic. And you've got the controller pin in. Right, I won't play it because it's just going to annoy your eyes, but yeah, cool. I think the next step is I'm going to try and fit it down there somehow. Is that going to work? You'll have to wait and see. Cheers. And there we go, peeps. She is all settled in. I managed to move the, the modern telly a little bit to the left. That was like dead center um, originally, if anyone uh, remembers. Put that to the left. Obviously, it's overhanging the side of the unit. Um, but still, yeah, it's fairly uh, modestly sized telly. It's not like massive. So I think that works out. Excuse all the mess and the, the crap down there. And um, yeah, it's in quite... Fits in quite well. I uh, managed to, uh, got a bit of the old alcohol on the marker pen on the top, and you can see it's uh, from BBC Radio. A little bit of a mark, or a couple of marks there, which was underneath the, um, like the electrical um, pat testing. Um, so there, and a little nick on the corner, I presume it's just been moved around. If I can, I might just get some little dab of paint on um, on that and then the one I think I showed before um, on the corner but apart from that it's all uh, it's all good one other thing which I don't think I mentioned before it didn't come with a remote but I got one off eBay I think it was under a tenner um, so that will that will be good because um, apologies for the flashing um, flashing screen you can see that the scar the input one is still on screens I'm hoping through the remote I can just um, I can just shift that I don't think I can do it through the um, the buttons at the the bottom, um, and I can access a menu, but I can't, you know, go up and down on that um, on that menu. So uh, yeah, hopefully the remote will turn up shortly, and uh, yeah, all in all, pretty decent. So yeah, bit of a bit of a gamble. Uh, I don't think it's a gamble I'd necessarily do do too often getting a something like this um, sent through the the post. But like I say to be fair to the seller, really good rating, and um, yeah, used a really good courier. And packed the heck out of this bad boy, so yeah, it's arrived in, it's arrived in really good shape. So yeah, look forward to um to using it. We've still got the, the PlayStation, some of my son's PlayStation, um, plugged in there. But um yeah, we'll mix it up a bit. Most of the stuff, as you can see underneath, um, is all got kind of HDMI um, connectors. It's a right bloody mess that go into that that bad boy. I've been labelling them up, so I know exactly what's what the score is, but, uh, but yeah, we'll try out some other systems. Cheers for watching. Big love. Bye.